Hey YouTube, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. As you can tell, it's another foundation review Friday. And today's foundation is the Lancome Tint Adore Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. Now, I have had this makeup for this foundation specifically for a while now and I'm so glad that I finally got to this in my series. If you're not familiar with my series, I'll leave the first ever video I did up above which was on the Revlon Colorstay foundation. Um, so you can get to know why I'm doing this series, all of that. I'm 14 foundations deep now at this point which is crazy because I only purchased about two um, newer foundations for the series. So. I, I own a lot of foundations, if you can't tell. Um, if you're not familiar with my series, I have a foundation. I test it out for a week, and I pick my foundations out of my like little foundation drawer at random. So this week, I got my hands on this one, which I was so excited about. So I pick a foundation now. I test it out for a week, try it with different primers, different brushes, different applicators, and all that. I type up all my notes on a Friday after wearing it for my complete work week. And then I come on here Saturday, and I film for you guys and tell you what I I thought about the foundation, how I feel like it works best for my dry skin type, what I think about the shade ranges for us African American females out here. Without further ado, let's get started into my thoughts on this Lancome foundation. Now, like I said, this foundation has been around for a not a long time. I think it's been out for a while, maybe not forever, but it's been out for a hot minute. Um, it is. It does have sunscreen. It has SPF. 15 um, you get one fluent ounce it looks like you get a lot more than normal bottles but you, you know the sizing and shapes of all bottles is the same that you get in the Revlon color uh, Revlon color stay the L'Oreal true match all of them shapes and sizes differ but you do get the normal foundation amount now um, I got mine from Sephora it was $47 I think universally anywhere you get this foundation whether you get it from the Lincoln counter Sephora all that is going to be $47 which I think at this point it is not my most expensive foundation the Norris All Day Luminous was $49 so I think at this point that foundation is the most expensive foundation I have. This is my second most expensive foundation. There are 35 shades which is incredible which I think it's the most extensive shade range that I've tried so far in terms of high-end foundations which is pretty good. My shade is 450 Suede in. Of course, the N stands for neutral. They have warms, they have cools, they have all of that. Um, I just found that this shade match works with me perfectly well. I won't have any surprises today filming. You guys know sometimes I'm filming and it's like, oh shoot, this don't match. This does not match. Don't have that issue with this. I am in love with the fact that they have a neutral line. And if you guys see me look down throughout any portion of this video, you guys know I'm looking down at my notes so I can, you know, deliver you guys the best information um there are 11 shades darker than 450 in there are 11 that's the most in terms of any brand that i've tried that had shades darker um i think nars had maybe nine or eight shades darker than what shade i was in they have 11 shades darker than my skin tone i think they do an incredible incredible job at the shade selection um, what the site says about this foundation, the site says it's an oil-free, up to 24-hour long wear foundation that delivers medium to full coverage and leaves a natural-looking velvety, velvety matte finish. Redness, pores, and imperfections visually disappear, evening the skin tone and leaving a mattifying, yet natural finish. This product is oil-free, fragrance-free, transfer-resistant dermatologist tested and suitable for all skin types it's 35 shades were developed based on real skin tones so that everyone can find their perfect match a lot of claims a lot of claims some of those i i feel like they they stand up some of them i'm like I got try it, but you guys will see in my thoughts on this foundation. Now, um, in terms of applicators and what I feel like works best this week, this week I love the application with the brush. Absolutely adored it. You guys know this is the first time I think that I've come on here and said the brush. I probably prefer the application with the brush over the sponge, um, just because it gives it a fuller coverage. The brush um, or the sponge really shears it out, but I think this this foundation looks so good built up so i think this is the first the brush wins over the blender in terms of application with this product um 
So today I'll be applying half my face with um, the brush, half my face with the sponge. I figured out this week that I love the NYX Honeydew Primer with this um, foundation. It just really gives it a natural luminosity and it gives it a very natural finish. So that is the primer that I'll be using today. I am going to color correct under my eyes and then um, kind of conceal. I am breaking out. It was not the foundation this week. It was hormonal breakout. So I do have hormonal breakouts going on right here. I'm going to go color correct. I'm going to go ahead and conceal this and then I will be back and do my application. So this half of my face, you can see, is done with a beauty blender. It's very sheer, natural kind of coverage and finish. Um, this side of my face, of course, is no makeup, but very sheer. I don't have um, redness, kind of discoloration, or anything major that I need to conceal. But if you can see that finish, incredible, incredible. Um, of course, I'm going to do the other side with my brush. So blendable with both products. If you can see that shade matte the line of like the difference between my skin and um this foundation is barely ever there so i'm going to go apply the rest of my face and come back to you guys and show you guys how it looks so i have gone ahead and applied the rest of my makeup i decided to do a red lip today i have not done a red lip in a while um so yeah this is the look i'm going to go on about my day and then come back later on and do my full thoughts i have some foundations that i want to compare it to like the nars um so yeah so stay tuned and i'll be back in about six hours with my final rundown on how this foundation holds up and looks throughout the day i am back it has been three hours i know i said it was going to be six hours later but you guys i do these foundation reviews every week and i know how i feel about a foundation so i was like i'm already breaking out and i want to take this makeup off just because i want to just like treat my face and actually use a treatment because this hormonal breakout thing i hate breaking out in general i just normally have very you know smooth canvas not having a smooth canvas is really bothering me right now so having makeup still on my face and have to sit with it for several hours it's not gonna be a fun thing but this is i've filmed some other things i've come back and it is now three hours later and I want to eat and I have red lipstick on and eating with red lipstick and me being a klutz, ain't, it ain't a good sign. Now this foundation claims that it was tested by a dermatologist for eight years before they came out with this and, and decided to show it to the masses. And you know what? Sometimes people make outlandish remarks like that and I'm just like, really? So y'all tested this out for several years and then you guys released it? I wouldn't say, I say their eight year claim may be ridiculous, but I think they really did put their heart and soul into this, this foundation because it's incredible. It is one of my absolute favorite foundations ever. Now Lancome was the first foundation I ever bought as a kid. I know a lot of people say MAC was their first foundation. That's the first foundation I ever spent my money on and bought was a MAC foundation. But I was going to prom and my grandmother loved Belk, the department store, and we had only a couple counters at my Belk, like a fashion fair and a Lancome. And I really loved Lancome foundation. It wasn't this one. It was something that they don't even have anymore. But I was like 16 years old and that was the first foundation that was bought for me and I know it was a lot of money uh, so that's why my first foundation was a MAC foundation but I think Lancome has a distinction of being you know high and elegant and all that and they really earned it now as far as how I look definitely feel like the finish is a natural finish definitely natural finish like it's nothing more than a natural finish. I can't say it enough. I look like I don't have makeup on in, in real life. When I'm not done up like this, if I just wore the foundation out by itself, it looks so natural. Not natural to the the, the 
face and body foundation natural level the face and body foundation natural level was so natural it looks like you're not even wearing anything with this one it looks like you're wearing something but you can barely tell you know it looks very much so skin light it's a very much so flow between your skin if you guys saw my half and half before I applied with my beauty blender or my brush you guys saw it, it was really no distinction between the makeup side and the other side now I think it's very much so medium uh, to full coverage you can definitely work this up to full on a normal day I'm very much so a medium coverage girl so I pretty much so leaned on the medium side throughout the week and wearing it to work but I got so many compliments just walk not in, in the office because they're used to me wearing makeup by now with this series but they got so many compliments walking down the street of uptown and just people just saying I love your makeup so I think it's very much so a good makeup and you're gonna get so many compliments on it um it's very lightweight very much so lightweight is something I realize it does not feel like you have foundation on your face and that's something I always 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 look for I think depending on the um, the primer that you use if you're a dry skin person you're gonna get a different finish though if you have like I, I said I, I realized the NYX honey do me up primer worked extraordinarily well with this I've used it with you know other primers the max prec and pine this week it really kind of mattified it it made it not look as natural it didn't look you know stark matte but it gave it a semi matte finish with that primer so if you're if you're a dry skin uh baby like me then you're gonna have to you know definitely figure out what primer is your most hydrating primer and then pair it with this if you want to get a very much so natural finish um i think it looks amazing on camera but since it does have that spf in it it may not be great for flash photography but this would be great if you're going to the beach or something and you want something lightweight but you want want to also kind of you know stunt in your photos uh, non-flash photos definitely a good foundation to have now if you're looking for something that I love the range with this that's another huge huge pro with this prime um, foundation is the range with this you are gonna find your shade I mean I, I can't say with a hundred percent certainty if you're watching this video that you your shade is out there but I would say about you know 90% of the time you're gonna find your shade with this foundation they did an impeccable job I mean this is even more than the L'Oreal true match I bragged I think last not last week but a couple of weeks ago I did the L'Oreal true match they had 33 shades and I bragged about how many shades they had they didn't have a lot of you know darker shades a lot of shades that were darker than mine as many as this one does but it had a lot of shades 35 shades for a high-end I mean it's incredible I know a lot of my friends darker lighter and all that who do stand by this foundation so I think if you're looking for something that's going to accommodate your skin tone you, you can go no wrong with this foundation in terms of um, uh, foundations that I would compare it to like I said I was going to compare this to the NARS all day now the NARS all day very comparable to this not just because it has this frosted bottle type thing and it has to kind of you know black lid this one has a see-through lid this one has a kind of black matte lid that I'm surprised I haven't gotten that dirty yet but um very comparable I think this one is a lot more lightweight I don't, I don't know how that's even possible it's closer to like almost a liquid liquid form um but like I said in my NARS All Day Luminous review, I should have got Tahoe. Looking back on it this week, I realized I should have got Tahoe in this one. This is Cadiz. Cadiz is way too red. I applied it one day this week so I could just make sure I had a was going to make a form decision about my comparison between these. Um, and it was a lot more weight, lightweight. And this one claims to be 24 hours. That's one con I would say about this. It's not really 24 hours. I've gotten at most, I've worn this makeup the most I've worn it this week is 18 hours, I believe. I think it was 16 hours. 16 hours. I wore this foundation 16 hours one day. It looked, you know, crazy at the 16 hour mark. And I have dry skin. So if you have oily skin, the 16 hour mark for you might also look crazy. But I think I've gotten a good 8 to 10 hour wear out of this and been, you know, flawless throughout the rest of the day. I think the all day, it really is all day. They they not just they not just saying something. Nor is just not making up stuff. I gotta give it to them. So if you're looking for something all day, I would definitely choose this one over the Lancome. But I love this foundation for every day. I would 100% repurchase this. I know it is $47. I, I, it would hurt my pockets. I would definitely probably have to wait. Uh, hopefully I won't run out until, of this until the VIB sale at Sephora. But yeah, I definitely would repurchase this. I definitely would recommend this to all you guys out there watching me. I definitely think this is a 
good foundation and I give it you know five stars and I give it my seal of approval so if you have any questions if you guys try this foundation and you love it if you're a dry skin person you try this and you love it let me know down below if you're an oily skin person let me know how you really feel about this foundation you know sometimes oily skin people have a very different reaction than I have on some foundations so let me know down below make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye so if you want to see any of the other foundation review series videos, just click the playlist over to your side. And then if you want to subscribe, make sure you click my little face also to the side. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.